how's it going guys? I'm Ryuz and welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Today I want to show you my take on Ebisu. Remember, Ebisu is a sport type Shikigami, so he will not be doing any flashy stuff like other Shikigami you've seen before. And with this, I think I pretty much covered all of the new Shikigami for this pack. So I will start saving up for the next pack and in the meantime, I will come up with more interesting decks for you guys. Anyway, let's get into the deck rundown, shall we? The deck playstyle is pretty simple. Use Yotohime and Akaname to deal with the opponent's Shigami, then use Ubume to finish them off. Ebisu will be staying back buffing your Shigami. The Shigami lineup is pretty flexible too, so if you want more stability but reduce attack power, you can replace Ubume with Karasu Tengu. Anyway, first up is Ebisu. Ebisu is the buffer of this deck, but if I had to pick between which one is better between him and Awandon, I would pick Awandon because 1. She can fit into more decks and it is easier to use her. Then 2. None of Ebisu's card has fast which makes him pretty difficult to use. But if you have his SSR, I would say Ebisu is a little bit better. For him, I'm bringing one Bless. This will level up your opponent's Shikigami too. So it is best used in early game when you haven't leveled up your last Shikigami. So it will be a guaranteed level up for you instead of a random one. Then we have two Good Omen. A targetable stats boost spell with a draw is pretty good and if you can get the enhanced effect, you can pretty much finish off your opponent. Then we have two Calamity to Blessing to revive your dead Shikigami when you level them up. Then we have to Evolve. You can never go wrong with more stats boost. And lastly, we have one Providence of the Sea. If you haven't got the level 3 cards for Ubume or Yotohime, you can put this on Ebisu before leveling up both of them. Next Shigami is Yotohime. She is the main attacker of this deck. You want to save up her combat cards until you can waste them in one turn to finish off the opponent. But sometimes you will have to use it to make way for your other Shigami to attack. For her, I'm bringing two Foresight Slash, a plus one attack combat card with damage immunity is great to put pressure early game or you can use it when your opponent Shikigami is blocking the way. Then we have two Flash Blade. It is a no cost combat card. What else can I say? It's really good. Combine this with her form and you can finish off the opponent with ease. Then we have one Sealed Blade. A good game ender card if Yotohime was able to kill a lot of Shigami in that game. Then we have two Yoto Kaleido. Double Strike is really good. And it is not limited to Shigami only like Miketsu's form. And lastly, we have one Evolve. This one is completely optional. If you don't have this, you can bring her other combat cards instead. The reason I'm bringing this because I have it and I never used it before. Then we have Ubume. I always like playing with Ubume, but she is difficult to use because of her low health. That's why we're bringing Ebisu to increase her stats for her. I'm bringing two Umbrella Sword. Uh, this one is great for a follow-up attack after you clear the way for direct attack. Then we have two Shadowing. I love this form but it is pretty tricky to use. You don't really want to use this to attack a Shigami because she might die. So I usually only use this to direct attack most of the time. Then we have two Raid. Because we're bringing Akaname, this card is now very easy to use. I will show you how to use it later in the replays and you will love it. Then we have to Evolve. This makes it so much easier to use Ubume because she will have range and will attack one more time if she defeats the defending Shigami. And the last one is Akaname. He will be the tanker and backup offensive of this deck. For him, I'm bringing two Sparkling. A fast plus one shield card with a free draw is great. Especially when we use it after we attack because our Shikigami has pretty low health. Then we have two Shower now. A plus two combat card with Hunt is always good to have. And it is very useful to target the Shikigami in the back like Taishak Ten or Enmusubi. Then we have two Mold Research. This form is awesome. This is also the one that will make Ubume cards easier to use. Because not only it has high stats, it also deals piercing 
and projectile if it manages to survive that turn. Then we have to evolve to gain unyielding and make Akaname even harder to deal with. Well, that's all for the deck rundown. Moving on with the replays. Our first matchup is against Orochi and Hitorima deck. And since they are bringing Gaki, they're probably bringing Hitorima and Gaki's SSR to do the keyword spam in late game. We should be able to defeat them before they can do any of that, so let's do our best. We got the first turn. Having Ebisu as the first level up will help us a lot in mid game because our Shigami has a pretty low health. On that turn, as expected, they will level up Orochi first then attack our Akaname with Hitorima and pass. On our turn, we're going to kill their Hitorima with Akaname and pass. The reason I didn't use Ubume's combat card, the reason I didn't use Ubume's combat card is that we want to save it until mid game, until we can see the strategy they're going with. On their turn, they activate Kingyo Hime's spell to attach Kingyo, then use their snake demon to kill our Akaname and pass. On our turn, we're going to attack with Yotohime, Then follow up with Umbrella Sword, dealing a total of 8 damage to their life. Our combat zone is empty, but they don't have any way to deal huge damage right away, so we should be safe. On their turn, they activate Vicious Let's Go, then attack directly with Orochi and pass. If they are attacking with Orochi, that must mean they have Gaki's card that they want to use. On our turn, we put Shadow Wing on Ubume, then kill their Orochi and pass. At the start of their turn, King Yohime's skill activates and attack directly dealing a good 6 damage. And our prediction is right and they did have Gaki's card. Thankfully, our Ubume has 6 health thanks to Ebisu, so she didn't die. On our turn, since Gaki now has 3 attack, we can do this. We attack with Akaname, then put Mold Research on him. At the end phase, Akaname will deal 3 damage projectile and kill their Gaki. On their turn, they evolve Hitorima, that will activate King Yohime's skill, attacking our Akaname, dealing 7 damage. Then they activate their Arfishes here to power up King Yo's card, and after that it seems they want to stop the projectile, so they attack with Hitorima. At the end phase, Hitorima will die because of the projectile. On our turn, we evolve Akaname to gain that unyielding, then attack directly, dealing 5 damage, and pass. At the start of their turn, King Yohime's skill activates and heals them for 4 points. And it seems they are giving up and passing. But before that, Ubume will activate Raid and deal 7 damage. On our turn, we're going to put them out of their misery. We put Yoto Kaleido on Yoto Hime, then activate Flash Blade. Then we go for direct attack. But for the finisher, I activate Umbrella Sword just because I can, and we win the game. Our second match is up against a proper field deck. Field deck has been struggling a lot these days because how fast the new Shikigamis are. I tried to modify my old Yumekui deck but it is too slow and very easy to kill. They got the first turn, they activate Kaguya's spell to search her field and they will pass. On our turn, we level up Ebisu, then attack directly with Yotohime and pass. On their turn, they activate Kujira's combat card to attack our Yotohime, then kill our Yotohime with Susabi and pass. Damaging to Shikigami in field deck is going to be pretty rough if you don't have Kaguya's field to heal them. On our turn, we kill their Susabi with Akaname, then activate Sparkling to gain one shield and draw a card. On their turn, they activate Kaguya's field, then attack our Akaname with Kaguya. Ooh, very desperate. That will tell me you don't have any more of Kaguya's card in your hand, so you put her forward. Alright then, on our turn, we evolve Ebisu, then kill their Kaguya with Ubume and pass. On their turn, they evolve Takiyasa Hime, 
then activate her combat card, dealing 6 damage, and power up her field, and they will pass. We need to kill Takia Sahime right away, because that first strike will kill almost everyone of our Shikigami. On our turn, we level up Yotohime, then activate Good Omen. After that, we activate Foresight Slash to deal with her field, then activate Flash Blade to kill her. Our Yotohime will definitely die on the next turn, but we got rid of their Takia Sahime. On their turn, they will evolve Susabi, then activate Kujira's field that gives one shield when taking damage. Then they will kill our Yotohime with Susabi and pass. On our turn, we kill their Susabi with Akaname, then put Mole Research on him. At the end phase, we deal 3 damage projectile to their life. On their turn, they attack our Akaname with Kujira, then put another one of Kaguya's field at the end phase because they healed, Kujira will not die. On our turn, I made a slight misplay here. I should have evolved Akaname first to get that extra one attack before attacking. At the end phase, we deal another 3 damage to their life, and we pass. On their turn, they attack our Akaname with Takia Shihime. If it weren't for the unyielding, Akaname would have died. At the end phase, their combat zone is empty. Ubume will attack and deal 7 damage. And Akaname will deal 5 damage projectile. We're pretty much going to win this. We put Yoto Kaleido on Yotohime, then attack directly, dealing 8 damage and pass. On their turn, they put a form on Susabi. Oh, that is pretty bad for us. They activate Susabi's field, that will activate the form to auto attack with immunity. Then activate another one of Susabi's field, that will kill our Yotohime. And because they gain haste, they attack one more time, dealing 6 damage. Well then, thankfully we have Akaname's combat card, but before that we activate Good Omen on Akaname, then activate Shower Now to hunt Kaguya Hime, dealing exactly 5 damage piercing, and that will win us the game. Well, that's all for today's video, I certainly hope you enjoyed it. By the way, what do you think of the new thumbnail? My good friend Chuk made it for me. I think the new thumbnail looks awesome, and you can clearly see the lineup for the deck showcase that I'm going to show you. Anyway, if you want to support the channel, I have Patreon and Ko-Fi links down below. And as usual, if you have any kind of feedback, leave it down in the comments, and see you next video. Bye!